me and the three kiddos. We are on a walk, as I said. Anthony just left for his bachelor party. It's not his, it's my future brother-in-law's bachelor party. He is getting married to my sister in October. So the boys are doing the bachelor party this weekend, the first weekend of August. And then us girls are doing our bachelorette party in September, the first weekend of September, so a month later. So they're gonna go have their fun. They like rented a lake house off like Airbnb. They're gonna like get boats. I don't know what else they're doing. Fireworks I've heard. I think it's just a lot of like playing card games, beer pong and drinking, just lots of beer. Anthony was looking forward to it. It's like all my brothers and my brother-in-law, Garrett is going. I don't think I have any other brother-in-laws. No, not yet. <laughs> so they're all gonna have a good time. I think there's like 13 people going. So that's a lot. On ours, it's 15 people going. So lots of people. They're going so slow. Oh my goodness. We have to stop every five seconds. And Grayson's having a meltdown. Oh boy, we need to get back home. So I'm stuck with the kids. Uh, today's Friday. So Friday, Saturday, and then they come home Sunday. I'm assuming they'll be back about midday. They're only going like three and a half hours away. So it's not that far. Say hi. Hi. What game are you playing? Infinity Loop. Gray is playing this game where he has to like connect all the pieces to make an infinity or something like that. And Porter is on the couch watching YouTube videos and Avery's upstairs napping. Usually while Avery is napping, we do quiet time. So that's what we're doing right now. And then once Avery wakes up, we're actually going to Target. We're gonna meet up with my mom and one of my sisters. And we are going to go school supply shopping. Grayson starts school in less than two weeks. Wow, well, good job, you did that so fast. Time is flying, the summer is almost over and he's going into first grade like i've said so he has a list of school supplies that he's get crayons and markers and specific colored folders and uh three inch binders and a composition notebook and all that stuff so i printed it off it's in the car because it was very stressed that we were going to forget the list and we are going to go to target we love going to target to get the school supplies, they usually have it all right there. So hopefully we can find everything we need. If not, there's a Meyer like right down the road. So we'll go there next. Um, he's in first grade, so it's not too long of a list, but whatever the teacher needs, I will get them. So we are very excited to do that. When I was a kid, school supply shopping day was like almost as great as Christmas. I was such a nerd. I loved school. I loved going to school and I loved buying school supplies. Good job, Gray. <laughs> and so now I get to go for my kids. So super exciting. We're going to go and get that. I also have some, a couple other things on my list, just like household supplies. Like I need more like laundry beads and Parmesan cheese and different things. So if we get that, great. But if not, at least we'll get the school supplies. So very excited about that. So I will definitely vlog a little bit. It's definitely nice to have something to look forward to while Anthony's gone this whole weekend. At least we're having a little bit of fun. So I'll see you guys at Target. And pocket red. Red Next folder. Next we need is a red folder. Okay, red folder. Let's go find it. We're looking for the school supplies. We're at Target. Gray's very excited. We've already had to order some stuff on Amazon because they don't have it here. Hey guys, so actually it's the next day. <laughs> I had to wait until today because we actually had to go to two stores to find all the supplies that we needed and we had to put an order on Amazon because Target did not have everything we needed. I don't know if it's always been like this, but Grayson's school supply list is so specific down to the count, down to the brand that they want. And a lot of the stuff like Target had like a knockoff brand, but then I was like, well, if they're asking for a specific brand, I'm sure it's for a reason. And then the other problem that I had was finding the counts. Like he needed 
20 count of sharpened pencils, but I could only find them in 18 count, so I had to get two of them. Or the markers, we had to order the markers on Amazon because they needed eight markers, and all we could find in the stores was 10 markers. I mean, ugh, it's just crazy. But we have everything. The only thing we're waiting on is the markers to come in. They're coming in like Wednesday. They're from Amazon. But other than that, we got everything we needed. So I'll show you guys what we got for Grayson. This is for first grade. Um, okay, so we got colored pencils. We actually got two of these. This is for his lunch. He's actually gonna have a lunch this year. So I was like, I don't know, shouldn't he have like an ice thing to keep it cold? My mom was like, I never use that for you guys, but I feel like maybe he'll need that. Uh, so that, that was not on the school supply list. Two things of giant glue sticks. Here are the, this is what I'm saying. They wanted this specific brand, Ticonderoga, and they had to be sharpened, and it had to be number two, but they wanted 20, I could only find 18, so I just got two 18, she's just gonna have extra, I'm sure she'll go through them. This I thought was super interesting. They needed crayons, but they specifically said they wanted twistable crayons which I guess it says like no sharpening, just twist up the fun. I've never heard of these, but they had them everywhere. So I guess, I guess that's the new kind of crayon. Here's the other sticks. So we have two of those. And then they wanted a pack of large erasers. I've <laughs> been doing a lot of erasing, probably and not with, not enough erasers with these pencils. So we got those. Here's the other 18 count of pencils. He's just gonna have an abundance of pencils. Can never have too many pencils. And then here's the other extra colored pencils that we had. Okay, then he needed a dry erase expo markers. He only needed two of them, but we couldn't find only two. The only, like the least amount they had was eight. <laughs> so she's just gonna have a lot of dry erase markers. Again, you can never have too many of these. So I don't think she's gonna complain. And then last couple things, he needed a red folder and a blue folder. They didn't specify the brand, but Five Star has always been a really nice brand, so we got those, but they were very specific. The red one had to be a folder, the blue one had to have prongs in it. So I made sure that I got what they needed. So he has both of those. And then also, I had to get this on Amazon because they only had 80 sheets at Target. We got a black, they specified Pecan brand, composition book with 100 sheets. So we got that. And then also this, a one inch white binder by Avery. That's so funny, I didn't know Avery was a brand. So got that too. So those are all his supplies. That's everything he needs other than the markers that are coming in the mail. Then some extra fun that I got, just like, I mean, not necessary, but kind of necessary. We got water bottles for the kids. Grayson got Minecraft. And although Porter doesn't have a school supply list, he is going to preschool and they do bring water bottles there. And of course he wanted a Spider-Man water bottle. He was very excited about that. So I got those for the kids. I always think it's good to get new water bottles every year just cause they get gross and it's always good to get new. And then Grayson requested a new backpack. He had a Sonic one last year. This year, I don't know if it's cause we went so late. They really didn't have any cute backpacks. So he just wanted a plain one. So he just got this one, it's black and red. And then inside we have a lunchbox. They had a bunch of different ones, but Grayson wanted this one with animals. I think it's super cute. I love the colors. And then inside this, <laughs> I got this on Amazon. I got him, everybody raves about it. So I'm gonna try it and see how I like it. I got him one of those bento boxes. You can see Grayson <laughs> already wrote his name on it. Grayson. I have no idea what else he put on that. <laughs> but if you don't know what a bento box is, basically I guess it's easier to pack lunches or something. So here's, I'll open it up so you can see the inside. But basically it's just like sections it off so you can put different foods in all the different places and then it keeps them all separate from each other. Um, everybody raves about it, especially this Bento brand. So I got this, it fits in his lunchbox or I could just 
put stuff in his lunchbox and I don't have to use this. So either or, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet. As you know, I've never had a kid old enough to like go to school full day. So I've never had to pack lunches before. I mean, sure I did it when I went to school, like in high school, but that was a very long time ago. So if you guys have any suggestions on easy like meal ideas, let me know down below. I have some ideas in mind like sandwiches and quesadillas and I don't know I just feel like I am not gonna have enough ideas like I kind of like to do something different every day so he doesn't just eat like a sandwich every day but I'm just having a hard time finding things that would like be good that aren't hot or need to be warmed up because he won't have that option when he goes to school so it needs to be good like cold and stay cold or like room temperature so I'm having a hard time coming up with things that he'll actually like and eat that because he's a little more picky so if you guys have any ideas please let me know but yeah that is all of Grayson's school supply Porter was very sad that he did not get to pick out a lunch box but I told him you gotta wait a couple years till you go to elementary school and then you'll get to pick a lunch box but he was happy that he got a water bottle <laughs> Porter's preschool, I just send them a check. They just ask for money for supplies and then they go and get it. So I don't have to get that for him. So I didn't have to shop for him, just for Grayson, but we are all ready for back to school. We, it's the weekend now, and then we have one full week left. And then the following week, Grayson goes back on Thursday. We do meet the teacher on Wednesday, the day before. So summer is coming to an end. I mean, not really with temperature wise, but like in terms of back to school, it is winding down. And Grayson is so, so excited to go to school and learn and meet friends and all the things that come with school anyway that's what we did for school supplies i'm still surviving here with anthony gone he's like on a boat right now in kentucky they rented like pontoons so i think he's having a good time i'm surviving i have like about 24 hours to go before anthony gets home so hopefully i can make it i just put avery down for a nap the kids are doing quiet time and then I just have to make it like this evening. So I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do. It's been like raining off and on. So I don't really feel like we can go to the park. Maybe we'll make like some chocolate chip cookies or something. I feel like that would be fun. I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out. But um, thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Are you excited for back to school? I'm excited for it. I'll be sad not seeing Grayson every day. But I stay home mom. So I see him all the time anyway so it'll be good for him i'm excited for him to go to school so anyway thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye